Okay, let's go ahead and find the vertex of this quadratic equation. Uh, but the graph of this uh, quadratic equation is going to be a parabola. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in one second. And then we'll define what the vertex is. And of course, we're going to actually calculate uh, and find the actual vertex to this particular problem. So this is really important stuff uh, if you're in an algebra course because you're required to graph these uh, equations or functions, uh, quadratic uh, equations. And uh, I do want to say, state that uh, there are quadratic equations can come in different forms and parabolas, the graphs of parabolas can become in different uh, varieties as well. And uh, sometimes it gets into a little bit more advanced mathematics, but I'm gonna give you a very uh, easy and direct uh, method that you need to know uh, to, uh, in fact, find the vertex, which is really the first step in uh, graphing uh, a parabola. Now, we're not gonna focus on the graph of this particular parabola, okay? We're strictly gonna first focus on your ability to find the vertex, okay? I have tons of other videos in my uh, algebra playlist on graphing parabolas, which you can follow up on. But let's just get you to first master how to find the vertex of something like this. And we're gonna get into this in just one second, but uh, first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online uh, video-based math programs there is. Now, that's a pretty bold statement, and of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following uh, following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses, ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, high set task. Uh, CLEP exam, AccuPlacer, uh, maybe the ASVAB, a teacher certification exam like the Praxis, uh, or nursing entrance uh, school exam like the TEAS. All those exams I mentioned and many others have a lot of math on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the exam. That's not good. So I can definitely help you prepare for those exams. Just go to my website, uh, check out my full course catalog. If I do not have your exam, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then obviously help those of you that are struggling in your current math courses. But uh, one thing that I cannot do for you, if you're serious about uh, doing very well in math, being great at math, if you're serious, then you must do this. Okay, you gotta take great math notes, right? So over decades of teaching math, uh, one thing is crystal clear to me, those students who have great math notes to study from, almost always do very, very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who don't take any notes or think that they have a photographic memory, um, you know, listen, I get it. I was a student once way back in the good old 1980s. Uh, I know you're gonna be distracted. You got your friends in your class talking to you, got your cell phone, uh, you got, you know, maybe you have uh, to do your homework for your next class coming up. Well, listen, you're gonna pay a price for all those things. If you really want to do great at, uh, be great at math, you have to pay attention every, every single day. Every, every time your teacher is teaching, you got to be highly focused and you got to write everything they write down. Okay, you got to be engaged. You can't be engaged on some days and other days you're paying attention because you're going to be missing too much in between. Okay, math builds upon itself. So take a look at your notes. That's going to be a good, um, that'll give you a good sense of how well you've been uh, focusing in your math course. But of course, most of you out there can stand improvement uh, in your note taking. And as you improve, I, I still um, uh, can help you out because I offer detailed comprehensive math notes uh, to include pre algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. So uh, you can use those notes to study from as you're improving your notes. And then you can kind of couple both notes together. But you can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so if you think you know how to find the vertex uh, to this, go ahead and pause the video and do so if you just wanna kind of check your understanding. But let's uh, go down here real quick and uh, just uh, define what we're talking about. Well, we're talking about quadratic equations and uh, they're gonna have a graph that's gonna be called a parabola. Okay, now it can look, a parabola can look like this. It's some sort of U shape. It can go this way. It can go this way, okay? It can, anywhere along this XY plane, you can have a parabola. They can be kind of wider, like so. They can be real, like, skinny, like this. 
But if you notice that at the peak, okay, you're either going to have right down here or right here, you're going to have that the maximum. You know, this thing's kind of topping out right there or right here or right here or right here, kind of like where it's bouncing and turning, making its a little U-turn right there. This is the vertex, all right? So this point is the vertex, all right? That's the vertex of that parabola. That's the vertex there. This is the vertex there. This is the vertex there. And it's some XY point, okay? It's some XY point that we need uh, to first find uh, before, we still, before we go start graphing a parabola. We gotta figure out, okay, what is the actual little uh, point, uh, that vertex? Now, there's additional things in the, uh, to uh, be able to graph a parabola, we gotta understand if it's a happy parabola like this right here, kind of like a little happy face, or a sad parabola like this is a little sad parabola. And I can get into uh, all of that with you in additional videos. Just go to my YouTube channel on um, my algebra playlist and look under parabolas. I get into I, I've done several videos on this, but if you really really want to uh, master this, you probably want to check out my my algebra one course. All right, so. What we're trying to do is find the vertex. Again, we're trying to find these specific XY points. Okay, now we need to find that XY point uh, given something like this. Now, let me just uh, state again that uh, quadratic equations, I'm giving you something that looks like this. All right. But they can come into all kinds of different flavors. You can have a quadratic equation that looks like this, uh, something like this. And then we have to kind of use a different technique to find the vertex. Now, one thing you could do if you're given a, a quadratic equation in this form is you could multiply all this out, this uh, x plus 3 squared. You can use a FOIL technique, and then you can add in that negative 5 and then use what I'm going to be talking about. But there's other better techniques. And then, uh, obviously, if you um, are continuing on learning more advanced mathematics, things, uh, what we call the conic sections, all right, which is... Now, uh, more, this would be probably like a more like an, uh, an Algebra 2 or pre-calculus course. Uh, we can get into um, parabolas and at a higher level. But let's just kind of stick to the basics and uh, find our nice little vertex given something like this. Because this is pretty common in terms of uh, like Algebra uh, courses, Algebra 1 and even Algebra 2 courses. So with that being uh, said, let's get right to it. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so uh, here is our uh, sample problem. Now, first thing is you got to make sure this thing is written in standard form. That's highest to lowest power. So we have our x squared, x, and then one. Uh, kind of think of a standard form is um, what you're going to be doing if you're sol using the quadratic formula. Okay, highest to lowest power. That's called standard form. Okay, in other words, if it was two x squared. Uh, plus 1 plus 4x. This is not in standard form. I got to move that 4x over there and that 1 over there. So make sure, one, that your equation is in standard form. Okay, now the coefficients, okay, in front of these terms, uh, this leading coefficient is 2, this is 4, then I have my numbers. The leading coefficient, this one right here, is um, going to be assigned the variable a. This is b. And then this number is C. We will not be using C for this, but this is a, uh, you need the C if you're going to be doing the quadratic uh, formula. Okay, so same kind of setup. If you're doing a quadratic formula, you need the C, but here to find the vertex, all we need is the A and B, but it's, it's the same idea. Okay, so here A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 4, just to be kind of crystal clear about that. All right, so. Remember, the vertex, what we're trying to do, we're trying to find the vertex of this parabola. Okay, this quadratic equation, if I was to graph it, it's going to be some sort of parabola, meaning it has a vertex. So it's some sort of x, y point. Now, let's focus in first on finding the x coordinate of that point. Okay, this is where you start with this. You're going to find the x coordinate first of that uh, point, and that is going to be equal to negative b, uh, over 2a. This is the formula you need to remember right here. x is equal to negative b over 2a. This should go into your notes. Um, again, remember, we already defined, <coughs> excuse me, uh, what b is equal to. b is equal to 4 and a is equal to 2. Okay, so we're just going to plug these things in. 
uh, pretty uh, straightforward stuff. So it's going to be negative B. Again, remember B is 4, so it's negative 4 over 2 times A. Okay, and A is what? A was 2. So this is going to be 2 times 2. So negative 4 divided by uh, 2 times 2 is negative 4 divided by 4, which is negative 1. And uh, guess what we just found? It's, uh, if you thought that was pretty easy, it is pretty easy. You just found the x coordinate of the vertex, right? So right there, it's going to be negative 1. So that just means that all we have to do here is find the y coordinate, and we will have the vertex. So we're halfway there right now. We found the x, and uh, now we need to go find the y. So how do we find the y? Well, first, you need to find the x, okay? So once you have uh, the x, and we know that x is negative 1, all we uh, need to do is plug in that x value just found into the equation. So remember, our equation is y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. Where these x's are, I'm going to plug in this negative 1. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And when I do this math, I'm going to get uh, y. I'm going to get the y coordinate. Okay, uh, pretty straightforward stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. Got to be very careful. Make sure you know your order of operations. So uh, 2 times negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared is positive 1. Uh, plus 4 times negative 1, that's a negative 4, plus 1. So 2 times uh, 1 is positive 2, negative 4, 1. If you uh, know your positive and negative number is very good, which you should, you'll see that y is equal to negative 1, and that's it. Okay, so our y coordinate down here is also negative 1, so our vertex is at negative 1, 1. Okay, meaning, let's go back up here that, let me erase this. So I'll kind of throw in a little bonus here as well. Okay, so because we found a vertex, it's at negative 1, 1. So this would be negative, uh, negative 1 on the x-axis, negative 1, negative 1, and negative 1 right there. Okay, so that's going to be our vertex. Now, remember we talked about a happy or sad parabola. How can we determine if it's a happy or sad parabola? Well, if this leading coefficient is a positive number, if it's positive, then it's a happy parabola. If it's negative, it's a sad parabola, right? So this particular parabola is going to be happy, meaning that it's going to have a upward shape like this, something like that, okay? And here again is our vertex at negative 1, negative 1. And then how we... Uh, now, I could find more points here and get an axis of symmetry, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that's for additional videos that you can watch if you like my teaching style. Okay, I have tons of this stuff in my algebra playlist on parabolas. Uh, but this is uh, uh, absolutely critical in terms of um, algebra. You've got to know how to find uh, the vertex of these quadratic functions, these quadratic equations, right? This is a pretty common topic that uh, will be on many quizzes and tests, okay? And hopefully this video uh, was helpful, okay? And if it was, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Again, I have tons of videos on my channel. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. That's a great place for someone like myself who's obsessed with trying to make math clear and understandable. That's my mission all the time. Uh, nobody should be failing math. If you're doing your part, uh, taking great math notes, talking to your teacher, paying attention. Okay, there's all kinds of resources out there that you can take advantage of. And please take advantage of all my videos. That's what they're there for. Okay, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.